All right, as you know, we've had some rough news lately, especially coming out of Japan. However, now I've got some good news for you. Let's take a look. Actually, good news is a bit of an understatement. This is great news. In a tweet that I made moments ago, immense congratulations to Akamatsu Ken for his election to the House of Counselors. On June 30th, 2020, I reported on him going to Parliament to advocate freedom of expression. And on December 16th, 2021, I reported on his announcement to run. This is a very happy update to see. Here's Akamatsu Sensei's tweet itself, collecting well over 100,000 likes. And he says, Immediately after 2000, the media companies confirmed that they would be elected in the universal suffrage of members of the House of Counselors. This is a little bit of a, you know, scuff translation. Long story short, he got elected. The people voted him in to success. This certainty means the birth of the first cartoonist to be a member of parliament. If you're out of the loop, Ken Akamatsu is the mangaka of the well-known and successful, massively successful, Love Hina. He says, Japan will change, I think. I will work hard to realize my promise so that I will not betray the voters who voted in anticipation of me, and I will not be ashamed of the representatives of all the people. As you can see, there are a bunch of people congratulating him. A lot of people very happy with this news. Maybe you are too. Let me know in the comments. While you're at it, consider liking and subscribing if you want more news like this covered every day. And since we're talking about Twitter, why don't we take a look at some of the upset people as well? That's always rather amusing. Sarima says, some didn't like the result, it seems. Well, we've got some examples of, like, two people upset. Compare that to over 100,000 celebrating, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good ratio. Anyways, the upset people here, apparently because Akamatsu Sensei has defended freedom of expression in art, including saying that such material doesn't negatively impact children in real life. You could probably phrase this a bit differently depending on how you want to phrase it. Now, let me preface this by saying I don't have all the answers, and I don't empirically know what the best decision is. I would, however, like to raise a point. Law enforcement agencies only have so much time, resources, and labor. Is it really a wise decision to have them go after manga? When I think about this on a macro level, I believe that would take away the resources they have to help real child victims and to go after the horrific people who do these terrible things to them. Of course, one could argue that a new agency could be made or something of the sort. However, even a new agency would need funding, labor, etc, etc, all of which could instead be used to further the reach of law enforcement in helping actual child victims. Even though I do find depictions of children in such fictional content to be disturbing, I personally value real lives over drawn lines, and I would hope that law enforcement would share that sentiment. On a final note, why is Hiro Hei, a guy who says how much he dislikes politics, celebrating a guy being elected to, uh, to, <laughs> to parliament? It's a good question. The fact is, I do dislike politics. However, the fact also is, I'm open to have my opinion changed. If I see a politician actually doing a good job, by all means, I will say, okay, here's actually a good politician. I guess not all of them suck. And I'm totally open to the idea of, you know, seeing how Ken Akamatsu does, seeing the policies he advocates for and how he handles himself now as a part of the national diet in Japan. Hiro, hey, I thought you don't talk about politics either. Like, you don't do political segments. That's, that's true. I mean, look, there's been some news about Abe recently. I did cover Abe when he switched his, uh, when, when Suga became prime minister, excuse me. I covered that. Altogether, though, the amount of overtly political segments I've made, probably less than a dozen, probably closer to half a dozen. And compare that to the around 2,000 videos that I've made. And yeah, I don't really do political commentary. There you go. Um, made some very rare exceptions. Anyways, once again, an immense congratulations to Akamatsu Sensei. Let's see how he does. And thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you there as well as in the next segment on the way.